れでよかったのでしょうか Was this the right thing to do? There's no good answer for that. I must be going then. I gotta go after Miss Ray and Shudo to solve the mystery of Eden Syndrome. I'll be in touch. おかしいところすまんがお前さんに応援を頼みたくてな大至急新宿に来てくれないか Sorry to catch you when you're busy but I need your help Can you come to Shijuku right away? こっちかいなこいつ撃っていいすかこのぐちゃぐちゃしたキモいの Get, get back you want to shoot you with this? You squishy gross thing You, you can shoot something for being gross, ain't that right, Ayoshi? Shut up and wait, a, wait for a second. We can't handle this. This is your area of expertise. Please give us a hand. Mayoshi and Date seem to be in big trouble. Okay, straight over to Shujuku then. Also, welcome back to uh, welcome back. I read the Digimon Cyber Sleuth. Uh, let's go check out the Digiline because that's been clicking on and off again. You need to become stronger. Which one looks like a tree? That'll be Cherrymon. Which my uh, which my item is more? I don't. It'll be Alexandra, I assume. It's, oh, it's forehead. Monyamon. There you go. He's actually helping me out a lot. He's really reliable at times like these. When I see all this awful stuff and this awful news going on in Japan, I wish I'd taken you with me. We're fine here, so focus on your work mode. Dai run after some hackers again. She reminds me of me, uh, me at that age. Is Mikako always like this? Okay, let's go off to Shujuku real quick. Um, actually, let's go uh, to Uno. Uno. I don't think I'll ever pronounce that correctly. And this is a place I will be coming back uh, to a little later on, so I can I can uh, talk about that uh, statue. The reason why I came here is actually because uh, the Digilab. So I'll meet everybody at Tsuchiko. Okay, where could Dottie and uh, <laughs> Detective could be? Uh, sorry, Mata Yoshi. Oh, God. They were sh she was trying to sh shoot something gross, so... If I were to think about something that's gross, when it comes to Digimon, there are a lot of notes I can take. Oh, fuck. Okay, okay. We need to take care of this now. Look, oh, on, this is your job. Hey, ugly, over here. You are late! Don't just stand there! Hurry up and help me! If you're not quick about it, I'll arrest you! I'm sorry, you can see the situation though, I'm begging you. I got this. Oh, come on, rip them apart. Oh, more durable than usual, I see. Okay, Tyranno. Use Genocider Attack. <laughs> okay. 
block. Finish your job, Akala. Nothing too hard, at least. That's a relief. Boy, do I owe you one. Looks like there's an R somewhere, Bakemon, underground. Can you take care of that one too? No worries, I'll take care of it. Also, I spotted Sonata here. Looks like uh, he went underground. Really? Given the situation, I, w I wasn't in a position to stop him, but I think that Bakemon was was chasing after him. But more than uh, than me right now, what Sonata needs is you kids. Go after him. No worries. He's my problem in all honesty. But yeah, as you can see... Uh, straight into it. Hey, it's been a while. Imagine running into you here. Did someone put you up to this? No, they didn't. I was just joking. By the way, how are you feeling? Your body is not getting worse, is it? <laughs> Very funny. Who worries about a wanted criminal? Been looking into eaters while avoiding the cops and potential witnesses. The life of the fugitive is harder than I thought it would be. I'll save the whining for later, though. Some my buds were chased here by eaters. I thought I could help them before they got attacked. But you don't want you don't want to be guilty by association. Leave this to me and get the heck out of here. Is what I should be saying. But I know you won't listen to me anyways. If you know it, don't say it. <laughs> you sound just like her. That's reassuring that you came. Shall we fight side by side for all time's sake? Oh yeah, we should. Okay. Let's handle those messages real quick. Oh, it's Ruby. Okay. Find your mom's right. Which one looks like a tree? Samplemon, Cherrymon, Kuzahanamon, Cherry Vimon. Hmm. There may be some punks around, but there's some uh, spirited kids lately, too. I'm worried, but you're already at that age. Just promise me you'll be careful. Okay. Um, yeah, Tyrano. Did, I decided to put Tyrano into Megadramon. What's happening to Tokyo nowadays? <laughs> Detective Mayoshi is really impressive for being able to keep up with all this. Um, yeah, I evolved uh, Tyrano into Megadramon, which is actually a very funny situation just due to lore reasons. Megadramon is supposed to be the air, uh, the anti-air type of... Not anti-air. Where Metal Tyramon is the anti-air Digimon, 
for the digital army. Megadramon is the anti-ground, where Megadramon essentially rains down hell upon all ground units. An other good thing to note is Megadramon's both his helmet and his arm is transferred over, copied, mimicked, placed upon uh, Machine Dramon or Mugen uh, Dramon, making him more more of a cable. Not, not capable. More of a mishmash of robotic uh, parts. Oh, okay, it's here. Oh, wait. Duh. Forgot something. There we go. Memory up. Just need one more of these. Okay. Uh, we need just need one more of these, and um, Mugen is able to come back. Uh, not Mugen. Uh, Aquilamon, or the Digimon that have on the back burner, can join us finally. Now, allow us to talk about uh, these cute little monsters. As um, it's good to point out a threat when a threat is there. Besides Metal Memimon that we have met before, the ones beside him is Memimon. A um, data type Earth attribute of uh, ultimate level Digimon. Yeah, again, don't let that size fool you. They're real big threats. Mainly living in the de deserts of the digital world, they evolved to have those facial characteristics. Those, basically, it, it's more of a lure to have them look so damn adorable and innocent, giving the air of weakness to their enemies. They're relatively good and, um, a Digimon that Ty, uh, that, Ty, uh, that Ty Rhino will be evolving into later on, because, as you can see there, they're Earth attributes. And, um, his, his final form will be electric, so having the earth attribute as well as the wind attribute at his disposal is extremely, extremely good. For that very, very twisted combination of uh, more being able to handle that. Mainly being able to handle any earth, wind, or electric type Digimon that would come in our way. As well as... Fire and uh, air type, did not fire and air. Um, grass and water type did one as well. Um, I don't think we need it. Let's keep on going over here. That's blocking our way for now. But yes, at this point, the point in time in the game. Um, before we walk into that, greater ruby. Um, okay, let's handle this real quick. Okay, I don't know if this is the boss or not, but I'll keep on talking just in case. We already know how Megdramon works, so this should be an easy beatdown. He's more uh, speed-oriented and speed and attack-oriented. His combat skills are relatively good, but he has one shining flaw. He's fragile. With that gone, that removes that subway train. Sorry, that subway illusion. So now we can head deeper into the caves and find where that eater is. Also, for the Bakemon uh, reference, I actually have no idea why they're referring to eaters as Bakemon. Best bet's because of its ghostly appearance and such. Oh, fuck, I don't have a good feeling about this. 
And those subway trains making a giant hand. again as always damn if only had more power great fuck <laughs> okay good old beat down this is not going as far. Okay, let's change out. Go, uh, Mega, Myotis. No, wait, I don't have anybody that's a physical oriented Digimon. Okay, Okawa. Hey, I'm a double scissor. Damn it, well, I think it was going to be a triple uh, combination. Nice big chunk. Let's use attack break. Acceleration boost. Melt processor. Nothing good. Let's see you. you. Throw some more SP at Okalamon. Because Okala is going to be our main attacker in all of this. Let's use a Jazz Eye attack. Which has doubled the power. And critical. Good. And there, combination. Good job, guys. You're getting better and better at this combination stuff. If you're wondering, yes, you can actually get up to four or five uh, within that chain. It's hard. Is it worth it? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. It is very worth it. To have a triple chain. I'm uh, sorry, a five level chain, but it's only under special circumstances. Okay, let's use acceleration boost again. Make sure we're, st we're at our strongest. And I'll call it hit him again. I'll use my Otis Mon Mon's turn to throw a our SP cell at Macalmon. Okay, good. Defense is uh, still down. Let's use Genocide Attack. Physical combo. Destruction cannon. Now you can finish him off. We really need to find a way to eradicate these things. I feel more we leave them alone, more people are at stake. Hey, what do you think, Bell? Huh? Do these things even have a sense of intellect? They just eat and eat like crazy. What 
What could their purpose possibly be? Allow me to answer that for you. Sudo. Cut the crap, man. Always showing up whenever you feel like it. Are you are you staying back watching this disaster unfold? Like it's a form of entertainment? Observation and analysts are researchers' duty. I go where I must, and I merely sound as I go. You also have a fascination with eaters, I see. And you are also researching them? Do you know what the eaters are after? <laughs> yes, you are definitely fascinated with them. I thought if anyone would be, it would be you. This may take some time, but out of respect for your intellectual curiosity, allow me to share my research with you to date. By the way, Arata, why do you eat? What is your goal in this act? My goal? It's kind of random. There's no real goal in eating. If I don't eat, I'll die. I'm a living creature. That's right. We eat to live. Now then, why do humans live? That's easy enough. We don't want to die, right? That is just a biological instinct, riding on the sparks of emotion and logic. Think on a more rudimentary level. Creatures live to save their virginity. This is why we adapt to our environments while passing down our genes. In our words, it is an evolutionary imperative. Evolution. Exactly, and in that regard, humans and eaters are identical. Eaters parse and absorb what they've eaten as data. They have the power to overwrite that data as well. This is a phenomenon known to you as bugging of data. This is merely one reaction to that ability. But the true power of eaters lies not in bugging. Their true powers lie in their ability to take the data that they have absorbed and restructure it within themselves. By consuming their targets, they overwrite themselves and are as reborn as new life. And that, in our words, is evolution. Eaters are continuing to evolve as they devour their prey. 
So they're eating in, in order to evolve. That's right. Life for eaters is evolution. Only by continuing to evolve do they live on. Don't you find that such a marvelous ability? This, this is what the study of life is all about. For eaters, all existence is a chance to evolve. Take the wall separating reality from the digital world away. They don't care to them. It's all just food. And Eater's ability to hunt down prey allows them to achieve in an instant what has taken man an eternity. You allowed Eater's to eat the dimensional wall so he could evolve? Where are you and Kisabe up to? Yes, I did work with Miss Kizabe. It's true. Our goals were aligned for a time. But that only extended as far as a collapse of the digital wall. As Kisbe herself put it, she wanted to open the dimensional door. I was more interested in the wall. Semantically, they're the same. Once you go past the abstract. Wall, door, portal, it's all the same. Never mind all that. Are you saying you had our agenda? <laughs> Once the eaters erode the wall, the border between our world and digital world will be history. The real world will feel the effects of the digital world as the digital shifts continue. It will be a complete merging of the real and the digital. Think of what will be possible when that happens. It's not a question of what will be possible, any and all things will become possible. It will be possible to modify the real world at will, like Overeign a game in the digital world. Until you achieve the perfection you desire over and over again. That's your goal? It sounds like you're talking about the very evolution of the human race itself. That's one way you can put it. To gain new power, we call that evolution, I suppose. To gain new power?
If there's something you want to be capable of, if you want to achieve nirvana, chow down on something with the power and rewrite yourself. That is a fundamental means through which evolution occurs. One would be remiss to have known the situation while doing nothing at all. And what about you, Arata? What will you do? What do you want? What will you become? Who? Me? By the way, Arata. What? What is it? Is there something that... You had best be careful. Huh? Behind you. Those who cannot evolve will be weeded out. You mustn't dwindle. Well then, Arata, I'm glad you're back. We finally stand at the crossroads of evolution, and it would be for nothing if you were to simply vanish. How do you feel? Hi. Hi. What the... Hugo! The hell? Well, I'll be... Why? But I... Nothing has changed. I'm, I'm just some kid, unable to protect everyone. Arata, are you feeling sad now? It's alright now. Soon, your sadness will be gone for good. My sadness will be gone. Come with me, Arata. Together, we can push this incomplete world to a new stage. And in so doing, make your wishes come true. <laughs> Don't do this. You're, you're worried about me. I understand. You and I have been buds for a long time. But there, but there's something big I've got. I still got to do in order to take care of things. I need more power. Well spoken, Arata. I respect the nobility of your spirit. 
and your bravery in the face of change. And you are perfectly suited to this new phase of human evolution. If you wish it, there's no power you could not attain. Arata Sanada, is that what? Is that truly what you desire? Kyoko. Kyoko, what are you doing here? Who are you? Could you kindly leave us be? He has already decided the path he is to walk. What do you think, Rata? This is power. You can rewrite programs that would modify the very rules of the world in real time. And that is but the faintest taste of it. Sorry, my mind's made up. I'm going. Are you sure you won't regret this? I've already been regretting something this whole time. Don't go, Rada. Don't. As well as strong. It's pointless to say anything now. What do you need to be doing now? Answer as my assistant. Slowly but surely, I'll find a solution at lightning speed. I have no idea what you just said. But it was a very you response. Let's see what conclusion that response leads us to, shall we? It'll do no good to chase them too far now. Let's return to the agency. Some exqu exquisite coffee is waiting for us. Happy to have you back. That said, we won't have time to savor it. <laughs>